Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a personal reading for someone who decided to let this reading be public to help anyone else who happens to stumble across it. So if you stumbled across this reading, stay tuned. Maybe there's some information that will come through for you as well. And if you're interested in having your own personal reading done, then check out the description below to find out how you can book me for a personal reading. So first of all, I just want to say thank you for your patience with this reading. Um, you are one of the last people on my list I had to get a reading to for my holiday rush I had. And I'm finally caught up. I've been talking about it so much on the channel lately, but you guys, it was crazy. I had so many people wanting readings and it was amazing. And now I'm able to purchase new equipment to take my channel to the next level. So be ready to see huge changes in this channel in the future, you guys. It's gonna get pretty high tech. <laughs> um, it's only just gonna be better quality, better sound, better images for you guys. Nothing else will be changing for anybody worried about the changes. <laughs> I say embrace change, right? <laughs> So this person is divorced and single for a few years and can feel the energy of like someone coming into their life, like a soulmate or something like that. They have dreams about this person, but they feel like there's some delays and they're just wondering what's going on. And that's where I come into play. <laughs> so let's go ahead and figure this out together. Interesting. Okay, so I see that this person that's coming in, I'm wondering if it's someone from your past, but I'm wanting to say past life. I feel like the reason that you're having dreams and the, re the reason that you're feeling these intense emotions is this is someone from a past life. This is a twin flame, a soulmate, something like that. And I'm seeing this reconciliation. It's saying someone from your past is returning to your life. So you already know this person from the past. And when you meet this person, you're going to have this huge feeling of um, just recognition. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. I feel like if you've had that before with someone, then you understand it. But it's like this recognition. And so um, I see that. I see this as someone you have a lot of recognition with. I also see that there's some religious factors here. It's either on your end or the other person's end. It's saying your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So perhaps um, this is talking about all the growth that you've done recently and opening yourself up because I, I feel like this expansion in you, like you've really, um, there's a lightness to you and um, something different because I've been tapping into people's energy all day and um, I love like experiencing all this different energy. There's something very unique about you in your lightness though. You've done a lot of work on yourself and um, I think you've le left a lot of negative and like limiting um, thoughts and beliefs behind and you're like in this process. And so as you become like yourself more authentically, because I feel like you've done a lot of shedding, especially in 2017, um, you you start to attract uh, magnetically like this person your way and i feel like you are on the twin flame path or something like that there you know you really have this idea of and fantasy and dream of wanting to be married and wanting to have this divine partnership with someone and i see a, a wedding on your horizon actually and so um past life i didn't even see this card <laughs> past life relationship is coming up. So yeah, you've known each other before and um, they're saying you deserve love. So um, if there's any doubts about whether or not you're gonna end up with someone, I, I feel like there's a part of you that doubts it because you feel like three years is a long time and I feel like you've gotten so much time to work on yourself now and it's coming in, like I can feel it. I can feel it um, and I what we'll do is we'll pull some cards for like the timing. We'll try to pull some cards on the timing and see what's going on with that. Because I know you mentioned delays, but I'm not really feeling any delays. Um, I see it's really close. This, this is you, and these are all these opportunities and love on your horizon, and you're manifesting this. This is what you want. This is what you desire. You have a dream. And I, you know, I hear this a lot from people. A lot of people are, are afraid to admit, like, yeah, I want to attract a soulmate into my life. I'm looking for love. Like, I want to be fulfilled in this area of my life. 
You don't have to be ashamed to want to experience that and want to express that with another person. And you don't have to be ashamed for whatever your heart's desires are. I hear so many stories all day long of people in like the most complicated situations, but I believe in hope. Like I believe there's hope no matter what the situation is. And I feel like for you, it's been a while and like you're losing your hope, but um, there's there's opportunity and you're like this, this snake here going through this transformation right now, shedding your skin. And it's like this huge rebirth. And, um, and so this is new beginnings. This is an energy of new beginnings around you. And so yes, new beginnings are coming in your love life. That's what this is talking about. I also feel like um, you were talking about delays. And so yeah, I do kind of see that. So very interesting. I'm gonna pull that card to the side and I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on the whole delay thing. Cause now I see what you're talking about. I see it in the cards. Um, but overall, this person might be a fire sign. Um, they're saying <laughs> this person's gonna light your fire basically. <laughs> Go with the flow, um, have integrity and always choose yourself, basically. Um, I feel like there's gonna be a couple of options. I think when it rains, it pours. It might not just be one person you're choosing between. It might be a couple of people and you're gonna have to recognize which one is the, the past life relationship. So they're saying, keep your eyes peeled and trust your heart for who this person is because sometimes there's a couple options and you have to recognize this person and you'll just know, <laughs> you'll just know. Um, let's go ahead and pull some more cards now about this delay. Okay, so they're saying this could be the one, like this next person that's coming in, the one you've been having dreams about. Um, but I'm seeing this person is currently, like I'm tapping into this person and they're current, let me pull some more cards, but I feel like currently this person is in the middle of a breakup. <laughs> I feel like this person needs a little bit more time to heal. Whatever this is, like the knife's been twisted is what they're saying. This, this, this person's been backstabbed, but by the time they make it to you, there's gonna be a lot of healing that's been had and it's something you guys can almost both bond over in a way, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I see, um, it's like he's getting himself out of this really sticky situation. And I'm sorry I'm assuming this person's male, but I'm feeling a very strong male energy from the person. So I'm gonna refer to them as a he, divine masculine, whatever. But if it's a she or a they, then um, I apologize. But I'm just going to um, go off of my gut and what it's saying about this person's energy. Um, so, I'm feeling a masculine energy and I'm seeing that this person's getting out of a very sticky situation. And um, I see them like currently in a, this struggle, but um, I, this is sticking out to me. Like, like <laughs> you're right. Like everything you said about the, the dreams that you're having, um, it's dreams are crazy. They will really tell you everything you need to know and all the things you need to work on. <laughs> And, um, you know, some people even have like prophetic dreams and I feel like you, you're very clairvoyant and um, you probably are, are starting to feel the energy of this person coming in. So um, yeah, there's, there's a twin flame, there's a, there's a significant relationship on the horizon and um, this could be the one and um, it's exciting. So a lot of expansive energy. So I don't know about the delays. Um, I just feel like it's because like they're in a struggle. Like we pulled like these, these three cards right here is what the person's going through right now, right now. And so it's literally like, that's what's keeping you guys from meeting up right now. But it's just, you have to remember that divine timing is at work here, but I don't see it too far off. Like I, I, I want to, I dare say it could be this year that it happens. So, um, Let's pull some clarifiers on that. Okay. So they're saying just be flexible right now and um, you're gonna have to have courage going forward. I see you actually going on a lot of dates. I see you going on a lot of dates and really putting yourself out there. 
um, I see you searching for this person. Like there's a part of you that's going to have to allow this to come to you, but I feel like there's some work that needs to happen as well. Like you still need to decide what you want and like to visualize this person and to visualize like the kind of relationship you're looking for. Just put a little bit of work into, into putting some positive thoughts and vibes out there about this whole thing. Um, I think this is just coming out so that like you, you see this in the cards, like reflecting back to you, this question you're asking, like this subject, this theme that we're on love. Um, and it's important and, um, you don't have to be ashamed of your feelings. I just feel like every time I do a love reading for someone, I will have to tell them that like that not to feel ashamed for your feelings of love and like wanting to express this side of yourself. And it's, it's part of who we are, you know, and it's part of being creative and it's part of expressing yourself. So they're saying, um, be creative and allow yourself to be open to love and creativity and sensuality. And it's an important part of yourself. So, um, oh, and the allow card just came out too. They want, they just want you to get into this state of allowing where you can be open to whatever wants to happen in this situation. So, um, let's go ahead and do a whole spread now with my wildwood deck and see what comes out. Let's do a big spread and look further into this. Thanks so much again for allowing this reading to be public. I know that so many people are going to benefit from this. Okay. Okay, so um, they're saying that you have, they're saying the situation is calling for you to have faith. And I see this as a reminder for you to ground yourself because I think there's something that you're working on right now, like some type of skill you're trying to grow to the next level, some type of project you're working on, or you're supposed to be moving forward on. So it's not just this area of your life that needs your attention. So they're wanting you to rebalance and refocus yourself and um, to be open to moving forward and um, setting goals and intentions for all areas of your life. And they're saying as you do what you love and as you move forward um, in your personal goals and you put work into yourself, it helps your love life because once again, it helps people be attracted to you like magnetically. Um, because when you're in your authenticity and you're expressing your energy, it, um, yeah, it's magnetic. <laughs> I also see that there is a new love coming into your life and it's going to be like a huge, um, it's just this transition and death card is coming up because it's going to be a huge transformation for you. It's going to be, I mean, when a soulmate comes into your life, it's huge. Like it helps you grow. It helps you change. And um, I'm seeing like it's going to shake you up and rattle you in ways you never thought in a good way. <laughs> so this is going to be um, something special. Now, I'm seeing something. Okay, this obedience card came out and like, where did it go? Okay, I just, I was over here like chilling with this, this deck, like playing around with it. And um, the obedience card came out and I was like, what's going on with that? And then all of a sudden I see the codependency card. So it's like you, it's like for some reason you've been silenced in your life and um, it's like you feel silenced maybe just by the patriarchy or by um, society, but they're saying you have a voice and it's important for you to speak your truth. And um, like when it comes to love, like be honest and be open and um, like it's time for you to, to come put yourself out there is what they're saying. And they're wanting you to be playful. They're saying, focus on playfulness when it comes to connecting with others in love. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. 
So um, if you're forgetting how to move forward or you're feeling kind of rusty because it's been three years, they're saying allow yourself to flirt and just be playful and um, and remember like this is love is about just having fun and like connecting with another person. And so they're wanting you to have like a lighthearted approach to all of this as you move forward. So let's go ahead and pull some final messages for you in love. Final messages for you. Seems like you're just being prepared for this next significant relationship. So you know it's coming and um, it's just about putting yourself out there and being open to, oh yeah, I forgot these came out. Being open to allowing this change in your life. So compassion, they want you to have compassion with yourself. They're saying you've been through a lot. <laughs> And um, have compassion and realize like you are worthy of love. You will be fulfilled. Like you, you deserve to be fulfilled in this area is what they're saying. Like you're worthy. And um, it's worth it. Love is worth it. Um, I love this extraordinary intimacy. <laughs> like your desires, your passions will be fulfilled. So let's pull some more cards. Final message. What you seek is seeking you, basically. <laughs> Attraction. Here's a, a little pointer for you. They're saying you attract romantic love by enjoying this mo moment fully. So allow yourself to just be in the moment, stop and smell the roses, engage your senses, and um, you're going to start magnetically attracting love your way. Peace out. <laughs>